Now we know how to draw selection and outlines on the canvas, we have to learn how to fill them. There are two ways to flood fill an area of your drawing right now in Krita 2.9. You can use the fill tool or you can use the fill selection function. And in Krita 3, there is a lazy fill tool planned to add a new, faster option to create the base colors for complete characters or environments all at once. But for now, let's cover the available tools. Krita's fill tool simply fills a contiguous color area based on where you click. It is a bit like the contiguous selection tool, but designed to fill a zone instead of selecting it. In Krita 2.9, the tool cannot be bound to a keyboard shortcut. It is a known bug that is going to be uh, fixed in Krita 3. In the meantime, you'll have to click on the bucket icon in the toolbox to select the tool. The paint bucket is quite flexible. It features a few options and two different drawing modes, which can be found in the tool options docker, as with every tool. First of all, there's the fast mode. The checkbox next to fast mode toggles between Krita and Photoshop's paint bucket behaviors. The fast mode corresponds to Photoshop's fill function. It is fast, but it produces aliased results and you can't use the sliders to fine tune the look of your color fills. The fast mode is ideal for sketching, for concept art, but also for pixel art. You can use it anytime you don't need a clean result. The normal mode, on the other hand, is slower, but it allows you to create clean fills. First of all, it naturally blends with existing colors on the canvas. It anti-aliases the outlines of the colored shapes it creates. On top of that, you can use it to fill beyond the existing lines in your painting using the Grow Selection option. Let me explain why this is both handy and important. One of the very common methods to create illustrations is to draw outlines first and then to use them as helpers to easily create a flexible base color composition. And that's even if you hide the line work in the final painting or game assets. As a professional artist, you often have to send those sketches to your clients for approval before you can move forward with the piece. Photoshop's paint bucket, or Krita's equivalent, the fast mode, will require you to fill twice in most configurations to completely fill any given shape, and doing so will deteriorate your outline. That's why Krita offers an alternative mode, even if it is more resource intensive. As you can extend the fill effect, you only have to click once to cleanly fill your sketch. A 1 to 2 pixel offset is enough to get good results. For now, there is one more option we need to cover with this tool, which is the ability to limit the effect to the current layer. By default, the Paint Bucket tool will use all of your layers to detect the area it has to fill. This allows you to store the new pixels on a different layer than your sketch. However, if you use this option, Limit to Current Layer, the tool will only use the pixels of your currently selected layer to apply the fill. I'm not going to cover the tool in greater depth for now, and the main reason is the lack of keyboard shortcut right now. Because of that, some other options are faster depending on the case, like painting uh, the silhouette with the brush directly, or using the functions we are going to talk about next. Another way to fill a selection or to color areas on the canvas is to paint with the brush. It works well sometimes, but often it's just too slow. Krita provides four shortcuts to fill a selection. Respectively, Backspace and Shift Backspace, the most important ones, fill the selection with your background and foreground colors at full opacity. If you add the Control key, the fill will be transparent based on your opacity slider. Note that the functions will use your blending mode, even if it's sent to Eraser. It's useful in color mode, for example, to quickly recolor parts of your painting. To use this as a replacement for the fill tool, you have to use it in combination with the contiguous selection tool. So activate the contiguous selection tool, which I assigned to the W key on my keyboard, by the way. And in the tool options, you can grow the selection just like with the paint bucket. Do that, add two pixels, click somewhere on the canvas to create a selection, and then shift backspace to fill. Just as with the fill tool, the limit to current layer option allows you to toggle between 
limiting the effect to the current layer only and taking into account all of the visible pixels on your canvas. Now you know a few options to fill your sketches. In the next video, we're going to see how to move selections and how to do basic transform operations on our layers.